Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. A ah, hot one out there yesterday, hot one again today, and I think we'll do it again tomorrow. So a little mini heat wave here first of the season. 91 in Gettysburg, one better in Carlisle. And same story, 92 degrees in Lancaster at last report. Feels like the low 90s out there. Humidity starting to come up just a bit. Here's what it looks like from our Harrisburg Skycam. Not much happening right now. A few puffy clouds. That's all outside right now. But 88 feels like it. Dew point's not all that high. It's just above the 60 mark. A little bit of a northwest wind. That helps. A little bit of relief there. But uh, again, any storms that form today, I think it's more neighborhood stuff than anything widespread. So they're pretty isolated. I think it would probably be this evening. And again, very, very spotty. The story, mostly sunny, hot, humid day again today. Muggy night. Probably going to only fall to around 70 degrees tomorrow. Another hot, humid day. We may have to up the ante into the mid 90s. Uh, well, it could be a late day or evening thunderstorm around. Again, it doesn't look widespread. Better chance the way I see it coming in on Thursday. So today and tomorrow, pretty muggy, hot and humid. Still pretty sticky on Thursday, but temperatures won't be as hot. I think maybe near 80, low 80s. Comfortable weather follows, though, as we head into Friday. Here's what's left of Agatha. It was a hurricane, now just a uh, tropical depression, but could get out over the Gulf and could become uh, uh, over the next five days, the next storm being an Atlantic storm, it would be named Alex. It could be the first of the season. Would it affect the Susquehanna Valley? I don't see that. I think most of it will stay well out to sea and not affect us. In the meantime, hard to find a cloud, right? You got high pressure off the east coast. That's the spot where you know, we get that southerly flow of air, and that's the case overnight tonight. Anything that forms this evening is very spotty. Now, this front gets a little closer, maybe enough to bump a storm in here. Most of them will be off to our north and west and then kind of just drive through as we go through the evening. But the front's still around. That'll keep temperatures down a bit, but could give us a better chance at some storms as we head into the day on, uh, on Thursday. So, again, tomorrow the storms will be north, but it looks like on Thursday, they may be off to the south. We'll keep an eye on it. There is a possibility southern counties could get a heavier shower or thunder shower. So 90s, then we break it on Thursday near 80 degrees. Again, could be some storms around late Thursday and not as humid as we go into Friday and downright pleasant and comfortable. I like those words for the weekend. And you notice no more 90s in that 10-day forecast.